I swear to God, my life is falling apart. I had a concert to attend, right? And we need our wonderful school IDs to get around basically everywhere on campus. So I'm looking around trying to find my ID before um, the recital, right? Couldn't find my ID. Meanwhile, the cat was sleeping on my bed. It was really weird. First, first split second, it was really weird. So I couldn't find my ID. Then I go to the recital, I'm like, guys, I can't find my ID. I don't know where it is. So then I'm like, it would be really funny if the cat was sleeping on my ID, right? So I get back and I'm like panicking because I have to like completely turn over my entire bed to find my ID. I found it. Cat slept in my ID. You can tell I've been playing a brass instrument by the look of my upper lip right now. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, if I haven't said this yet, welcome back to my vlog, and uh, this time around I'm playing a French horn. Yeah, I like playing this thing even though I sound really bad at it, but I hope to get better because I really like playing this instrument. Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to my uh, vlog. Um, you're probably at this point wondering why there hasn't been like videos besides for like yeah, I haven't made a single video, and if you haven't followed me on any of my social media platforms, and you're probably wondering, like, did Guardian die? And I'm like, no, first of all, I'm not dead. If you're watching this vlog, you know I'm not dead. It's just because, um, it's that time of the semester, or it has been that time of the semester, where everything kind of just, like, happens all at once. If you're a college kid, you will know this. If you're a music major, you know this, because... It's usually like halfway through the semester is when all the concerts, I mean all the concerts start happening at once. So then you have to practice for all those concerts, you have to practice for your lessons, you have to practice for this, that, and the other thing. So you have that. Then you have your regular classes on top of that. So you have to do your schoolwork and all that stuff. And then, then you have like other events, like let's say like if you're a part of clubs and you have to do those clubs, like I'm part of SAI, so I have to participate in that stuff too. And some of it's mandatory and if you don't show up, you get fined, haha. -ha. So that's kind of what happened. That's why there was like a no video shortage for like, I don't know how long, probably a month by the time you see this video, there has been like no actual like videos. So I apologize for that. Um, I didn't expect this to happen because spring semester didn't really happen that much. But since I'm actually like really involved this semester with stuff and I'm trying to keep my practice routine up, um, that kind of didn't happen. Um, expect, like, expect some, expect a regular flow of videos once I get through finals week, which should be, which is the second full week of December. That is when finals are at, and that's when I should be in the clear for making more videos. Um, so let's get back to our regularly scheduled vlog. So let's talk about marching band, shall we? By the time I'm recording this, it's like December. So our season ended roughly like three, four weeks ago. It ended in the middle of um November, and that was with two exhibitions and then our final football game, which was the week after that, those things. Um, and I think performing at the exposition exhibitions really made me realize like why I enjoy doing what I do in marching band wise because this one high school crowd was so pumped for us and we kept playing like pep tunes and stand tunes and we got them really engaged really involved they just they were just like screaming for us they really enjoyed our performance and that just made me realize how much I love to perform and how much I love to make people happy like you guys so um I'm sad that the season's over because it's kind of like a sentimental thing. That means like all the seniors, that's their last time performing with the marching band. So we all shed a lot of tears. I know I cried a lot and I'm going to cry more as we get into spring semester. So fun times are ahead. Um, but we are doing other stuff right now for marching band since it technically is a class. Um, we're doing... We just finished up drum major interviews, or auditions, I should say. 
Um, and for those, we have to, all the candidates, including myself, because I auditioned, we had to um, teach a basic fundamental to the band, the entire band. Then we also had to conduct two pieces that we play, um, which is either Alma Mater, Star Strangle Banner, or a Fight Song. We had to conduct one of those, two of those, two of the three. And then we had to do an interview in front of the entire band. Um, it's stressful, but not stressful. Like, if you know what you're doing, you should be fine. But it doesn't mean you're gonna get the role of drum major. You can only hope. And I'm hoping I get it, but, um, it's not up to me anymore because I did the best I could in my audition. And it's really down to what the professor wants and what the drum majors, who the drum majors think really deserve it and would be a good representation of the marching band. We're currently in section of the year auditions, which are less intense in terms of, um, they only have to do an interview and the interview tends to be more a little, it tends to be a little bit more relaxed because it's more of the section's choice rather than the entire band's choice. Like there's more weight onto the section on who they want for their section leaders and stuff. But, um, that's going on in marching band world right now. Um, I'll talk a little later about the concerts I performed in and what I did and stuff, because concert season. Yeah! Fun times! about now um the concerts i performed in within the past month and a half of being in college the first concert i remember performing in like actually like solo wise would be um so that's was within the month of november and december was the um <clears throat> the sii recital um along with performing in a few group pieces at the whole um fraternity did we i performed um terrible things by Made a parade, which I've done a few times on this channel. Um, look at the i card up above to to see what versions I have done. Um, I performed both the piano part and the singing part. I was a little shaky, but other than that, it was really good. A lot of people got the feels, which is the whole point of me performing it. And plus, I really wanted to just perform it and get it out of my head because it was stuck in my head. I also performed in the second chamber recital that we have. Um, chamber groups are usually small ensembles with a variety of instruments depending on the instrumentation you want for the piece. Um, there usually is no conductor. It's usually a very small group of people, which I've already said. Um, let's see, what else? So I performed a piece with uh, clarinet, which would have been me, um, violin and piano, and it was Stosh Shostakovich, I believe that's the uh, how you pronounce the name. Um, p five pieces for two violins and piano, which I just transcribed the uh, second violin part for myself to play. Um, I had a lot of fun playing in that group, and I look forward to playing with them hopefully next semester, even though I can't register for the class because of um, I ran out of credits. Um, but I'm also performing in next semester two other groups. I'm doing... Hopefully the Undertale Trio, which is on my channel. Also look at the I card somewhere up on this top part of the screen to see the I, I card. And also um, another piece that my friend wrote who 
Um, it's a quintet that he originally wrote for theory class because we were looking at modern contemporary music. He wrote it for that class and then he really wanted to expand upon it and play it for the chamber concerts next semester and he asked me to play clarinet on it. I'm really excited because I don't really play clarinet in a contemporary piece often so it makes me really excited to play two pieces that I really want to play next semester. Um, and then those are the only two concerts that I actually performed in like solo wise or in like a small group. Um, next semester is going to be more, probably at least three, if not more than three times we'll be performing solo-ish. Um, I'm really excited for it. And that's the end of this section of the vlog, so I'll see you guys in the next section. So it is the uh, first snowfall of the winter season. Um, <clears throat> and it's really pretty. I am not excited to drive in it two hours from now. <laughs> Should be snowing much more than probably an hour or two before or later than this. Um, it's really pretty. I wish it was snowing to cancel finals, but uh, that's not gonna happen and oh well. <laughs> Hello everyone. Um, it is day two of finals week and I'm not dead yet, so that's an improvement. Today in this portion of the video I wanted to quickly discuss we're gonna go back to my goals from the beginning of the semester in my first vlog and talk about them and if I had met those goals at all. So if you don't remember my goals for this semester were to improve on my performance anxiety and also to um, perform to improve on my practice ethic overall. Um, in regards to my performance anxiety, um, I think I've improved. I think I learned that while playing um, in different concerts and playing longer pieces in different settings, that if I play a short piece, I'm going to feel really anxious about it because it's short. It doesn't last very long. But the more, the, the longer I'm on the stage, the more comfortable I start to feel because I get used to it. I get used to the feeling like, okay, there's people watching me um, I get, and I get used to it the longer I'm on the stage. So now it's for next semester maybe, it's time to work on how to calm myself before I get onto the stage so like I can be as like a low level stress as possible so that when I do relax, it's even more relaxed and I'm not like completely worried or frazzled about anything. My other goal was to work on my practice ethic in terms of practicing and staying with a set routine. I don't remember if I talked about this already, but um, I think I definitely improved on this goal, especially compared to last fall during my first semester freshman self. I barely practiced, I barely did anything, and now here I am starting off the semester practicing like five to six times a week and now it's the goal of trying to retain that where I can keep practicing throughout the entire semester without losing steam without anything going wrong or anything like that well not wrong but just without pewtering out halfway through or a quarter or three-fourths of the way through before we get to the end of the semester also it didn't help that like Thanksgiving break was like right before two weeks out from finals so that didn't really help much, but those are my goals I had at the beginning of the semester and that's how I ended them. I'm kind of happy with my progress and I kind of like making these goals to kind of see like where I was at and where I want to be. Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my humble abode back home. I just wanted to wrap up this uh, vlog by just talking about finals week and how that went and how I did in terms of grades and stuff. That's why it took so long for me to like record this part because I wanted to know what my grades were in the classes before I recorded and said like I think I did well but now I actually do know how I did in class so like I can just say how I did. Finals week was it was all right um Monday I had like four finals I had math then my jury for clarinet then piano proficiency which I passed which is fantastic and then I had my oral skills final um, at the end of the day, then I went to go get Chipotle for my one month with my boyfriend. Um, I also supported the music department, so it was, it was a good day. Um, and then after that, I kind of had just one final a day, which wasn't too terrible. Um, at the end of it all, I got 
A's in everything except for brass techniques, math, and theory three. Um, I got A minuses in all of those, which brings my GPA to a 3.92. It only went down a 0.02%, or yeah, 0 0.02 points. It's the only how much it went down. So I hope to keep it really high, only so like I can get into grad school and you know just it looks good on the resume. In terms of what's gonna happen next, I might do a winter vlog, like a vlog for all of my winter break and then that'll be released probably at the end of January because there's no point of doing a January vlog when I'm only back in school for like a week um, when I would be doing a January vlog. So I might just do a winter session vlog for all of winter and then put that first ba week back to school from January into the February vlog only to like for it to make sense logically. Yeah, that's about it. Um, if you liked this video of seeing my wonderful face playing many instruments, give it a like on this video and tell me what you think. Like, do you like this? Do you not like this? Like, do you like hearing me play my instruments? Do you not? Do you hate my tone? Because I hate my tone. I sound like terrible. <laughs> Um, let me know in the comments, like, let me know what I can improve on, what I can add, and if there's anything that needs explanation, I can make a video on it. I know I've been mean to make a video about what juries are, so I don't really have to take time from these videos explaining what they are. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, then just hit that subscribe button and continue to support me and what I'm trying to do on my channel. And with that, I'm gonna go play some Pokemans and cry over Pokemon trading card game because that's a thing now. Yay! I'm now spending more money on stuff that I may don't need to spend money on. And with that, keep practicing and I'll see you guys real soon. Another Guardian, out.